Today I'm going to be talking about the top two car insurance companies in Ontario. My uh, friends and family are constantly asking me, Bill, Bill, my renewals come in and I know what you do for a living. You're a personal injury lawyer. You help seriously injured people. You work against insurance companies. Who, who do you say that the best are? And uh, I go through my list for them, and today I'm going to go through my list for you. First things first, you need to know that just because a company isn't on this list doesn't mean they're horrible. It may be that they write a small amount of business in Ontario, and I've only had one or two cases with them over the course of my career. Just because I've had one or two favorable experiences doesn't mean they're going to make the list. The flip side is also true. Just because you choose one of these companies doesn't mean you're going to think, oh, they're exceeding my expectations. I, I have to say that uh, for the most part, my clients at the end of a case aren't saying, oh, wow, they did such a great job, that car insurance company for me. Um, I think they feel more like it's a dentist appointment. No offense to the dentist, no offense to the insurance companies, but it's the least painful experience as possible is what they want. Third thing you need to understand is that I haven't factored in costs, the cost of the premium, the cost of insurance into this sort of analysis that I've done. You may be thinking, oh, you're a rich lawyer, money's no object, but that's, <laughs> that's just not the case. Uh, I haven't factored in costs because I don't know how much a particular insurance company would charge you in your particular area. So that's the first thing. But also, I also know that you get what you pay for. You don't go to McDonald's for filet mignon and uh, sometimes the least expensive may end up, if you are unfortunate enough to have a uh, serious claim, to be the worst decision you made. So let's get to the two insurance companies. The first insurance company on my list is Intact Insurance Company. Uh, they write a lot of business in Ontario and are uh, uh, insurance company that are uh, very popular. I chose them not in any particular order because in the very serious cases with my clients who have quadriplegia, paraplegia, serious brain damage, they have, uh, Intact has very senior adjusters who understand the injury and that makes a world of difference. For example, if I have a client who has a spinal cord injury, an intact adjuster is probably not going to balk or have a problem with bowel and bladder supplies because they understand spinal cord injured patients need them. Other insurance companies, they may. So number one is intact because of their experienced adjusters. Moving to number two, Cooperators Insurance Company. I've chosen the cooperators for really two reasons. The first is that they tend to have adjusters who stick around for a long time. And the second is because they tend to bring a practical approach to my clients' cases. Now let me tell you about those two things. Uh, cooperators seems to have branch offices all around Ontario. And uh, while my experience with each branch office is more favorable in one than another, uh, for the most part, their adjusters have been around for quite a long time. You have to understand how unique that is. I've had cases where within, within a couple of years, uh, I've had five, six, seven different adjusters on any particular client's case. It's a complete revolving door. Some insurance companies have teams of people, so you never know who to phone concerning a claim. And then that causes problems. It causes problems because you don't know who to call. It causes problems because the person on the other end of the line may not know as much about the case as the experienced adjuster. Keep in mind also, they have probably several hundred cases or claims that they're dealing with at the same time. So if it's a revolving drawer of adjusters, it makes their job very difficult. The second aspect is that practical aspect of things that cooperators tend to bring to the table. Believe it or not, you have some insurance companies out there who will send a client of mine for a $2,000 medical assessment to determine if a $1,000 item is reasonable and necessary. Doesn't make sense. 
Cooperators, while I've had that experience with them a few times, tends not to do that. So because of those two things, cooperators are on my list. So those are the two insurance companies. Intact Insurance Company and the Cooperators Insurance Company. Are they perfect? No. Uh, it's just my opinion. Other people may have different opinions. That's perfectly fine. But hopefully it's given you some insight today. We're grateful for all of our social media followers. If you like this video, please click like in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and share it with your friends and family. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.